everyone, my name is Peace and just a little bit of background, I studied health well-being and promotion as a degree and I started off as a bank 2 healthcare assistant as a bank staff and I progressed on to bank 3 because I requested for it. So, and then I had experiences while being a healthcare assistant and what I saw on the ward and in the community as well and I thought how could I make a difference or how, how could I um, impact people and then it led, it led on to my, um, what I found valuable about that CLCH and why I joined CLCH. It's the relationship that was important to me because I'd like to walk into a ward or to see a patient and they're happy and they're, they're glad that they're there even though they're going through things and they, they can say I've had a good day. So I then went on to study Masters in Business because there was no clear path in the, because I didn't do any clinical um, courses. So I thought if I had a business, Masters in Business or a business degree, I could at least get somewhere, you know, the management or someone would <laughs> say something to me. But anyway, so I then, I, after doing that, I decided to get into the NHS and permanent staff. So right now I'm a care navigator and I'm with the Barnet Integrated Locality Team. And I've we've actually done quite a lot and we've attended meetings about you know the new strategy of delivering care at, in people's home in the community. So in terms of relationship, I recently did um, patient experience, and the patient was complaining to me how a doctor treated her. So she was not concerned about how she was ill; she was concerned about the doctor was nice to her. So I like to know that people are caring compassionate and to treat people with respect. So if I was in charge of NHS, sorry I'm not So right, this is mostly what I've talked about. So it's part of the CLCH values and these are the the, the ones that I picked out. So, um, focusing on caring and being compassionate and kind, um, I thought these are the things that actually I now do in my job. So I empower other people in being confident, like most of my colleagues and even patients as well. And I encourage people to understand their role and why, and in relation to the objective of NHS and obviously the integrated locality team as well. Uh, demonstrating the importance of empathy because whether we know it or not this is something that's important because we all have emotions and that could actually help with their well-being there are studies but I'll send it out to you later if you ask for it <laughs> um, supporting others to con consider the interest of patients and I know that when we do that we kind of tailor the experience directly to the patient so patient-centered um, Assisting colleagues in developing other skills because we want to empower each other so that we can be able to be reliable in what we do. So changes I would like to make in the NHS. I was looking at the mandatory training we had and I thought, do you know what? Why not just make one of it to be focusing on the values of CLCH? Even if you have to remind people that you have to be kind to people, you have to be caring. I mean, it's part of we already have mandatory training, so if to add one of those. To say this is why we're doing this and this is what we want to do um, and also bridging the gap between health and well-being because I love health promotion I like I love to tell people um, stay away from KFC or stay away from McDonald's <laughs> <laughs> and things like that just to you know to promote good health um, you know promoting prevention we know that talk about prevention is better than cure and at the moment we want to focus more on prevention to over to avoid overcrowding, especially in the NHS, um, you know, to promote patients to understand how to look after themselves at home. And the best moments I've had in CLCH is obviously meeting different people from different places and the relationship I've had with both senior management and people that, you know, that are my colleagues as well. And also the opportunity for development, such as this leak, which I found on this program. I was so happy about it. I, I'm always on um, ESR 
and the, the um, looking for programs on where to go, to be honest. And the amazing benefits in this one, I And I get 20% of that. That was nice. <laughs> <laughs> So at the moment I've learned how to deal with stress with regards to meditation and mindfulness and all the things that have to with us. Um, developing leadership skills and career progression, mentoring and obviously I'm presenting better today. <laughs> That's because we've done lots and lots of practices. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 